I'd rather sing. La 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 la. The Karen used to speak and sing. We weren't always quiet. We told stories and funny jokes. My stand-up was a riot. But then one day a fight broke out and hurtful words were said. Flaring tempers were in flame. Destruction quickly spread. Flaming red from head to head, it even burnt our bread. Sorry, I forgot how much I love rhyming. Oh, where was I? Oh, my happy village lay in ruins. Relationships got worse. Spoiler alert: we quickly learned that words could be a curse. No more talking, yelled our leader. The last thing said aloud. Into the stream of silence, we stepped as a crowd. The water cooled emotions, and peace was soon restored. But with no way to speak, my thoughts I got super bored. Seriously, there's only so long that Sudoku can keep you entertained. 'Cause rainbows won't light up the sky unless you let it rain, and shiny apples sometimes come with words. No, you can't give up your laughter 'cause you're scared of a little pain. It's a lesson that the Karen never learned. I was stuck in silence. With the voices in my head, till I tripped over my salvation in a helpful flower bed. I found a cure to clear my pipes, and I became quite chatty. With years and years of stored up words, I drove my village batty. They didn't like my jokes and songs and daily dose of news. The plays I wrote, the speeches spoke for. Singer and he wore a freaky half mask thing and played the organ a lot and got all broody because the singer was in love with another dude. So he took her away on this underground gondola. And I mean, who doesn't love musical theater? The village leader made it clear I had to make my choice. I could stay and live with them, or I could keep my voice. So I came here but left the couch alone. They're hard to move with just the view for company until you heard me groove. Take it away, boys. Rain.